I got a note the assistant GM wanted to see me a few weeks later. I thought I might be in trouble, but turned out to be something totally different. The assistant GM made his notes and thanked me. You can imagine my surprise when I read later that we'd actually signed him. The next day we were doing the meet and greet in the locker room when coach came in and told us to suit up. We had a training plan, and once we had our cleats laced up and our helmets on, we hit the practice field. All right, man, eyes up, eyes up. Take a look what we got here. Let's remember what we're running here, okay? The offense hasn't seen this all season. We're gonna get at him. Execute your assignments and it'll be a party in the end zone. All right, let's get it. Gentlemen, achieving our goal starts right here on the practice field. I can't stress that enough. You all know we have lofty goals for this season. If you want to achieve those goals, we gotta raise our game. Today just wasn't good enough. So next practice, we have to be much better.
If practice makes perfect, then we just had one that was close to ideal, and we weren't the only ones who thought so. We'd made a big splash in the preseason. The regular season was just a week away. Time to ride the wave and hope we don't wipe out. Field at Mile High in Denver. It's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the foot of the Rockies just west of downtown Denver at Empower Field at Mile High. Today it's the opener of a new NFL season. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Denver Broncos. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. And their quarterback, well, everyone knows he's got height, standing at 6'6". So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus, the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on the opening week. Takes this to the 27, give him four yards. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So a new season upon us. Every team, of course, big expectations. But the expectations are a little different for this offense. They've got one of the most talented teams in all of the National Football League. They think big things are on the way. And I got a call from another coach, the league partner, who jokingly, and maybe half-joking, he was asking, did they take the offseason off? Because all I keep hearing is how they're having great practices. And I told them I've heard the exact same thing. People have told you and me that they're like a rollover machine already. So the only concern that we're both going to have with all that talent running around on offense and more being added, there's only one football to go around. If they keep ego out of it, they should be one of the top offenses in the league. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. A run with Lindsey out of the gun. That's another 
Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. On first and 10, it's Lindsay. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. What we call run fits, everyone was in the right place. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And what a great call defensively there because they decided to bring pressure off the corner. And a lot of times, those big linemen, they can't account for the speed of a defensive back. And that time, he made a beeline right for the quarterback and got it. The cat blitz, tough to defend. That's to his running back, complete. And unable to break away, they stop him a few yards shy. The Broncos unable to convert here on fourth. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Out of the gun, he'll throw. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Didn't have the greatest field position to start, did they? And now, after this sack, it's way, way worse. And right off the bat, first play of the game. To try again after the sack. Wentz. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Now Wentz on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. It's taken to the 26. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. Good starting position for the Broncos here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. The drive will commence with a run by Lindsey. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. Lindsey, the ball carrier. He's brought down at the 37-yard line. No score after one on EA Sports. With no score. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fool them with the inside run. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. the gun they'll look to throw eluding the pressure right and the tip there altered the ball flight and it falls incomplete it'll be second down now left side on the swing pass an agile move and a nice gain, then dropped at the 25-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Brings up third and three. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He may try and run for this. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 15-yard line. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Open man, he completes it to Judy. 
And he'll get it here to the 10 yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. It's now second and six at the Eagles' 10 yard line. And he's got it. And the Broncos are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. They'll drop the throw. And this is caught by Sutton. Touchdown, Broncos. A one-yard touchdown pass as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. And he's got it. Seven-nothing Broncos. First and goal. Forget running the football. Forget establishing anything. Just put it in the end zone with the pass for a touchdown. Oh, yeah. I guess that's the definition of catching the defense off guard there. They weren't expecting that. And that totally goes against type, doesn't it? When you think first and goal from the one, you're thinking running play. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They went three and out on their first drive of the new season. Not an ideal beginning as they start drive number two, first and ten. Nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And 29 yards on time. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And Peterson, what happened? He lost the football. It's picked up by the Broncos. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Oh, he'll air this one deep. It's caught inside the 25. And he is taken down deep in Philadelphia territory. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years with the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. 17 yards out. And the Broncos push further out in front. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it helped scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up with nowhere to go here. He lost the football. The Eagles hustling to the line, clock rolling. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. From the gun, it's Wentz. Left side here to Sanders. As Sanders has it poked free, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. A fumble on the play. CD, that's the second time this half they've put it on the carpet. Now, the first one they lost. Good news here, it doesn't cost them. They do say that things even out in the course of a ball game. So you mentioned they lost the first one. This time, able to retain possession, but they can't get into this habit. The ball can't continue to go on the ground. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Throwing the out route and complete. That's Peterson. And Peterson, what happened? He lost the football. 
a fumble on the play. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. And that is caught by the back judge right there to say incomplete. He was trying to get it to Denzel Mims that time. Third down here. Again, it's Wentz. He's got this one completed to Mims. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise, and start to put together some drives. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. A gain of six there on first. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. Gonzalez's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. And we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And the half will begin with a touchback. Out come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They trail now 14 to 3, an 11 point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. Now, the first play of the drive there is incomplete. What we've seen so far in this game, they are not going to allow a big shot over the top. You can have whatever you want underneath, they'll give you that, but they're not going to let you beat them deep. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards, now it's third and five. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Working from the gun, Wentz. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Peterson. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. I think everyone in the stadium saw that big hit coming. And I, as a former defensive back, have to admit I'm a little disappointed. He actually was able to hold on to the ball. He brought the lumber on that play. Give my man a whole lot of credit for taking the hit and possessing the football. And picking up the first down. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he'll air this one deep for G. That's caught at the 25. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. That's a big time pitching. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. From 21 yards away. And the Broncos will extend their lead. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 
The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. One play has them up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Shotgun now for Wentz. Able to connect with Mims. Give him nine there on the first down completion. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First down. Now Wentz. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. Open right side, complete to Rager. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Eagles make some inroads here on that deficit. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough. Otherwise, they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And it makes the score 21 to 10. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. He'll let this go deep for... It's caught inside the 25. And he is taken down deep in Philadelphia territory. A huge play there for Denver. 63 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. That's complete right around the eight. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. From 17 yards out. And the Broncos will add on to their lead. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? RAC. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start nowhere to go here, he lost the football. The Broncos say they have it. They do. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Austin Hooper. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Broncos use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Welcome back now to Denver, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score of the final play of the third quarter. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. 
Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Throwing now is Wentz. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Peterson. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Here's Wentz to throw. Over the middle, caught by Mims. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Wins to throw again. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. Going for it with Sanders. And he loses the football a second time. It's picked up by the Broncos. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Well, I know he doesn't want a fumble loss by his name, but it was fourth down. I don't think he was going to get to the marker anyway. I think he just hired you as his attorney because you have just argued that this fumble is actually okay. I'm just saying not all fumbles are created equal, and they probably, the defense would have had the ball there anyway. That's okay, so, so the defense gets credit now, right? Someone yes. gets a nice little mark by their name, but it really doesn't hurt the other guy because he wasn't getting there anyway. I like that. Good job. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles' 30. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. That would be on the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and they'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and leave his team. They try and run on first down, but this one going to lose a couple yards as they get him behind the line. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow him down. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. First and 10 at the 10-yard line. They'll run on first down. It's Lindsay. And a nice pick up there as he'll take it from the 10 down to the five yard line. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yep. Yeah, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Point after try, forthcoming. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So the drive there took six plays, and it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Their own 22-yard line. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This too shall pass, this too shall pass, and it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. To throw, it's Wentz. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back.
as it brings up fourth down. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. This will be fielded at the 17. Set and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And this is really the start to the season that you're hoping for if you're a coach or a player. They've got the big lead here in the fourth quarter and now can really take some time off the clock. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That one, 28 yards on the ground. On first down, right back to Lindsey. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. It's a pickup of six. They'll try the draw, Lindsey. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Out of the gun now on third down. Got a man, it's Judy complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now the Broncos are going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. That one looks like he'll throw here. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Extra point right down the middle, and that will extend this big lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. Give him 28 yards on that one. And it's going to yield a new set of downs. Today's a big offensive explosion help leading them to Eagles victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Broncos, it's a fantastic start as they roll to a blowout victory here in the season opener. And they'll get another home date next week as the Raiders will come to town. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Dallas Cowboys. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brent. Know my name, I get through the pain, taste sweet on my face, like it's lemonade. Tie me up in chains, I get through the pain, taste sweet on my face, like it's lemonade. We were all riding high after the win. Back in the locker room, I checked my phone and saw tons of rumors about players who wanted to be traded to our team.
I figured it couldn't hurt to mention it to the assistant GM, and sure enough, when I brought it up, he was more than receptive. Didn't your offense have a nickname that year? What was it? There have been some great nicknames in the NFL. The Steel Curtain, the greatest show on turf, but we decided actions spoke louder than words. 